After President Kennedy's assassination in 1963, the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry erected an obelisk there at Dealey Plaza and topped it with the depiction of the Illuminati flame. On his grave in Arlington Cemetery, they lit an eternal flame, which still burns to this day. Over the Pont de l'Alma Tunnel in Paris, where Princess Diana was killed after crashing into the 13th pillar, the Illuminati erected a huge golden torch and flame sitting atop a black pentagram. On the island where Diana lies buried was placed yet another depiction of the Illuminati flame. David Icke said, The Brotherhood is telling us that they killed Kennedy and Diana, but unless you understand their symbolic language, you don't know. At ground zero of the World Trade Center, shortly after 9-11, they lit another eternal flame for the victims. Overlooking the fallen World Trade Center buildings in New York Harbor stands the Freemasonic Statue of Liberty, also holding up the Illuminati torch. Another few blocks away, in Rockefeller Center, the Rockefellers erected a huge golden statue of Prometheus carrying the lighted torch. This Illuminati symbol is found on the dime, the DIA seal, Indiana's seal, the symbol of the Olympic Games, CBN, the National Front, the Better Business Bureau, and many other places where the Brotherhood's fingers have delved. Jordan Maxwell wrote, The torch, of course, the Olympic torch, is the torch of Prometheus, the god who stole fire for the service of man. And again, as we said, in New York, in front of Rockefeller Plaza, you will see the statue of Prometheus, holding in his hand a flame, the torch, the fire of revolution. The dime, of course, inscripted on the back, you will find the torch of illumination. It's still there today. The Statue of Liberty has the torch. Of course, on all universities and colleges, we find in their symbols and emblems that they have the torches, symbolically standing for illumination of the Illuminati. As a matter of fact, when you are a graduate from a university, you become an alumni, which is taken from, obviously, Illuminati, emphasizing that you become illuminated when you go to a university. The torch is also used in the Amoco oil logo. It is found many, many places. David Icke wrote, Their most used symbols are the lighted torch, the symbol of knowledge and the sun. When an initiate reaches a certain level in the pyramid, they are said to be illuminated. More symbolism of the lighted torch. One of the recurring stories in the ancient world is of a hero figure who takes fire, knowledge, from the gods and gives it to the people, the chosen few people, that is. At the Rockefeller Center in New York today is a gold statue of Prometheus, gold, the solar metal of the gods, and he is holding the light, the fire, in line with the legend. To the Rockefellers, this is not just a statue. It is a symbol of the whole scam they are involved in. Following the Illuminati torch symbol begins to unravel a larger mystery. The Brotherhood goddess Isis Semiramis holds the torch of enlightenment in the Statue of Liberty, as well as the Columbia Pictures and Columbia Records logo. Columbia University's symbol is also the torch in flame. CBS, Columbia Broadcasting System's logo, is the all-seeing eye of the Illuminati. The capital of the United States is Washington, D.C., which stands for District of Columbia. America was discovered by a man named Columbus. The Fraternal Order Knights of Columbus have been exposed aiding the drug trade in Columbia, the country. Columbia is the NASA space shuttle that blew up. Columbine is the high school that suffered the mass shootings. What is going on here? Jordan Maxwell wrote, It goes back to a group of Freemasons that came to this country before the founding of our Constitution, who were called the Columbians, known as the Columbian Faction. They founded what we know as Columbia University. Out of that has come Columbia Space Shuttle, Columbia Pictures, and Columbia Broadcasting, CBS, with the all-seeing eye on the pyramid as their symbol. As a matter of fact, our government, our so-called government, is not even a part of our country. It is an area called the District of Columbia. It is a separate district, not part of America at all. 
The simple truth behind that fact is that there was a section of the geography in this country that was set aside by a very powerful group of Freemasons called the Columbian Faction, working behind the scenes during the founding of this country. The fourth and highest degree emblem in the Knights of Columbus depicts a dive-bombing white dove. The French word for dove is colomb. Sacrificial doves representing virgins were known in Masonic circles as the colomb. Many of the British royal crowns and scepters are topped with the white dove. This is the same royalty that gave us the pseudonym Christopher Columbus as the man who discovered America. David Icke wrote, the Statue of Liberty is the symbolic image of the goddess worshipped by the Illuminati bloodlines since they were based in Babylon and before. She goes under many names, including Queen Semiramis, the branch-bearer, who was symbolized as a dove. When the Illuminati bloodlines moved their headquarters to Rome, the goddess was worshipped as Venus Columba, or Venus the Dove. The French word for dove is still Colomb. This is why a man who signed his name Colon is known to official history as Columbus. He was bearing the branch of the dove into the Americas in 1492, and was given this symbolic name relating to the Illuminati goddess. The symbols of the three main political parties in the United Kingdom, which serve the structure headed by the Queen, are the lighted torch, conservatives, the red rose, labor, and the dove, liberal democrats. At the time of writing, their three leaders are Tony Blair, Bilderberg Group, William Hague, Bilderberg Group, and Patty Ashdown, Bilderberg Group. Just a coincidence, nothing to worry about. Did you know the Statue of Liberty was given to America by French Freemasons? There is another statue just like it in France on an island in the Seine. The character propagated as Lady Liberty supposedly derived from the Roman goddess Libertus, is simply a patriotic pseudonym for the public. Lady Liberty has been known throughout history as Isis of Egypt, Semiramis Ishtar of Babylon, Athena of Greece, Astarte of Syria, Cybele of Rome, Ashtoreth of Israel, and Diana of Ephesus. She is the pagan mother goddess of the Brotherhood, nearly always depicted dressed in robe, wearing a crown of thorns, and carrying the torch of illumination. She is symbolic of both the moon and the dog star Sirius, which is why the English word for God is simply dog backwards. The dog days of summer was coined after Sirius and was believed to be an evil time. J. Brady in Clavis Calendarium says the dog days were known as a time when the seas boiled, wine turned sour, dogs grew mad, and all creatures became languid, causing to man burning fevers, hysterics, and frenzies. This hot time was associated with hot-headedness. This is why you're serious when you're serious. This is also the occult origin of the all-American hot dog. July 4th, America's Independence Day, just happens to be the second of Sirius's dog days, an important date to the pre-Masonic Knights Templar. Graham Hancock wrote, It is the date of the Templar's massive defeat by Muslim armies in the Holy Land at the Horns of Hatton on 4th of July, 1187, which was followed by the loss of Jerusalem to Christendom. There could therefore hardly be a more evocative Templar or Solomonic date than the 4th of July. Evocative, that is, of the aspiration to build Solomon's Temple in Jerusalem. The reader will also be aware, of course, that the 4th of July is Independence Day in the U.S., commemorating the signature of the Declaration of Independence and converting the date forever into a powerful talisman that spells out independence and freedom for the New World, and now, by and large, for a New World Order. The symbol for the U.S. dollar is as follows, sometimes with one or two vertical lines. The S and I have nothing to do with dollars and everything to do with Isis. The Egyptian goddess of the moon in Sirius was Isis, and this is the most common name for her used by the Brotherhood. The dollar sign 
is actually an occult talisman to this Illuminati goddess. Michael Tessarian wrote, Silver was connected with the moon, and therefore with the goddesses of the moon, the most famous of which was and is Isis. So her name became the symbol of money. We find this today in the cleverly camouflaged motif of the dollar sign, which is nothing more than the sigil for the name of ISIS, but fused together in an ingenious manner.